is News 5 Sports with Matt Pritchard. Nothing is easy for Air Force this year. At 1-4, and four, the Falcons needed a win in the worst way possible. And at least to start, it looked like they were headed for 1-5. and five. First off, though, this was pretty cool. The Air Power Legacy uniforms on full display today, honoring the F-35 fighter jets. And the flyer, flyover came courtesy of those jets they were representing. But it was UNLV who started fast, scoring on their first possession of the ball game, never letting up in the first half. Quarterback Armani Rogers has a touchdown run to make it 27 to nothing nearing half. Air Force was their own worst enemy, fumbling it three times in the first half. Lucky to be trailing by 20 at the break. And that's when things started to turn around. In the third, the defense kept the Rebels out of the end zone the rest of the game. And the offense, well, they just found new gear. Arian Worthman rushed for 166 yards and a career-high five touchdowns on the day, outscoring UNLV 27-3 in the second half. Air Force winning 34-30 over UNLV, snapping that four-game skid. And our own Grant Meach was there for it all. He joins us with more from Falcon Stadium. Well, Matt, what else can we say about what we saw today here at Falcon Stadium? Air Force down 20 points at halftime. They rally in the second half for their second biggest comeback in school history and get their first win against an FBS opponent this season, one that was met with relief and excitement in the locker room afterwards. There was never a moment in the game where I thought we were going to lose. Um, even down 27-0, I knew we were going to find a way to win the game. I mean, we did it last week. We've done it before in the past, so, I mean, as long as there's still time on that on that clock, I mean, I always think we're going to win the game. And I want to say four or five different times they they had the ball inside on our side of the field to start a possession, which is uh, which will get you beat uh, probably at least at least 99 times out of 100. And uh, yeah, not not today. You know, I think everybody's just finally excited to see what we've been working towards come into fruition a little bit now. That comes with a grain of salt because we're two and four right now. We got a lot of work to do. Head coach Troy Calhoun said he would give the game ball to the defense, but only half this team is definitely a work in progress, but they can do so much more coming off of the momentum of a big win like this. Up next, Nevada on the road on a Friday night. They will have a short week to get ready. From Falcon Stadium, Grant Meach, News 5 Sports.